and thank you for joining our presentation. Uh, today, I would like to explain SW360. Uh, it's a one with application. It can manage the SBOMs. So it's a very historical application. So there are a lot of useful features. Uh, I cannot explain all features uh, within this presentation. So I selected the useful and new uh, features on the SW3 functions. Okay, so uh, let's start. So I'm a Koki Hammer. I'm at Toshiba Corporation. And so I'm a one of the member of the uh, co leader of the SW360 project. And sometimes I work with the uh, Open Chain Japan Work Project. And okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Tien. Uh, I work uh, for Toshiba in uh, Vietnam. Uh, I am uh, leading a team to uh, manage. Uh, uh, to maintain the SW360 and develop new uh, feature for it. And uh, today, uh, this is a good chance to uh, introduce to you about uh, some uh, big feature uh, which made by my team in uh, 2022. Thank you. Uh, so today's topic is where at first I would like to explain SW360 in general and so news and uh, from the third chapter, my colleague TNR explains the new features. Okay, so at the first chapter, so I would like to explain SW360 in general. So uh, Especially, I talked about overview and some useful functions. Uh, if you go to the official website, SW360, you can find more useful functions. So, but today, I introduce four many functions. Yeah, but so I know, so everyone knows why SBOM is important. But so I repeatedly explain. Uh, so if you uh, surprised, uh, or uh, provides SBOMs, uh, so you can know a lot of information from the SBOMs. Uh, but so if you don't use SBOMs, you can see limited information about the software products. So at this moment, we need to consider how to manage SBOMs. Yeah, so it's one of the use of SMOM will be mandatory for software supply chain. So your company and of course yourself will receive many SMOMs. However, how will you manage many, many SMOMs? So a lot of SMOM formats exist at this moment. Some people manage SBOM on the spreadsheet. Some people manage SBOMs on the JSON or XML. It's not bad. However, do you want to really manage all SBOM information like this kind of format? So one of the answer is uh, this question is, uh, OK, let's use uh, Eclipse SW360 so you can use or manage S1 with your nice GUIs. And yeah, of course, SW360 is the open source, so you can customize by yourself if you need. So uh, SW360 data architecture is there. Uh, so at first you uh, Saved a third party software component and so assigned to them into the, your product or project. So, this kind of architecture has some strong points. So, uh, for example, you can reuse the information and so coordinate product documentation process or support open source license clearing process and many. So, um, so recently we uh, changed the data architecture for the license. Uh, license information for the component. 
For each component, license information is captured, so and license information for power products is available. Yeah, but so this is our all data architecture, and uh, you may not understand how to use SW 360. So from next slide, I would like to explain with the screenshots. Yeah, just a basic operation and you can uh, use as a way. Uh, but so uh, as a basic DUI operation, I would like to explain how to register. Uh, so at first, please register your software information. Uh, in this case, uh, you can enter the name, component time, home page where, uh, so etc. And at next, enter the software version as a release information. In this case, uh, set versions and license, home page URLs, main license. Uh, because sometimes if open source uh, change or upgrade the versions, the license may be changed. So uh, on the SW360, uh, this uh, kinds of architecture used. <laughs> so this uh, operation is uh, similar to the uh, register your SVOM information. So after you register your component, uh, so then you can register the project or product information, uh, such as a project. Uh, a or project B are project names. And sometimes projects uh, need to tag project visibility or versions. And so uh, sometimes you need to set project description. So uh, you can set project overview. After uh, settings project information and component information, you can link them. So this is an example of the information. In this case, this project uses uh, three uh, components. And so, uh, of course, it's an example that you can add more information. Yeah, of course, after registrations, a lot of information you can find. So you are uh, favorite why you want to need uh, components from the search functions. This is a screenshot of the search function. So in this case, uh, he, our user sets project type. So you can find a project. But so if you want to uh, find the license information, you can find the information uh, about the licenses. So, or, uh, so of course you can find the users. So this kinds of uh, function supports your management S on SW three hundred sixty. Yeah, from now I would like to introduce some more useful functions. At first, SW three hundred sixty supports multi language systems. Now uh, we can support three, but Within a few days, we also start for the Chinese. Now uh, you can use SW 360 English and Japanese and Vietnamese. And so maybe from next week, you can use SW 360 with the Chinese language. Uh, so it's not difficult to add the new languages. If you are interested in, in translations, uh, you can go at this language files, and so uh, if you translate it and make a pull request, uh, we uh, merged it so and we can support new languages. So, and so next useful feature is the license management functions. Uh, basically, uh, on the SW360, uh, all data is not imported, but so uh, if you uh, push the import button, so you can get the uh, license for license text info from the SPDX files, and so you can uh, download the license obligations information from the other files. 
Uh, so uh, this is one of the example BSD license. Uh, you can see this information from the SW360 license page. And so you can also see the license obligation from other doors. And so uh, sometimes we need to provide the license information to your customers. In this case, generating license information report function is very useful. Uh, after uh, you set the, your project information and the component information, and you can go to uh, the download pages. From there, you can uh, select the component and the document formats. You can make the license component, license document in informations. This is the image, but so uh, copyrights or license documents or so any other information. Yeah, of course, you can set the free parentheses can be customized, but so yeah, so you can provide uh, quickly uh, with this function if you need to provide license document information. So maybe you're worried about so you need to a lot of zero information, but it's not a problem because API is also supported. Uh, you can make API token very easily from Jira after. Uh, generated the API token, you can uh, almost all uh, method or uh, procedure by API. And so API guide is also uh, installed when you install the set the SW360. Yeah, and so from now I would like to explain or report the some news about the SW360. At just recently, we renovated the website. Uh, some information uh, includes the how to use it, uh, written in the uh, GitHub Wiki. Uh, but so we moved to uh, this page. Uh, so, and uh, of course, this website is also open source and so if you want to update it or if you find the problems uh, please make a pull request uh, so any pull request are always welcome like a translation or a new screenshot or update description or of course uh, fixing my typo <laughs> yeah so and we are uh, all of our SW360 are discussing the roadmaps and uh, uh, from this uh, from these pages you can see that these roadmaps are uh, so it's a lot of our ideas there are a lot of ideas for how to improve the SW360 and so now they are categorizing the uh, 12 types uh, so, state ability of tools, usability, REST API, and more, more, more. So, yeah, for example, uh, yeah, I cannot explain all, but so for example, uh, so for instance, in CICD based on the uh, license information, yeah, integrated automated function, or uh, import or support Cyclone uh, DX bombs. And so, uh, so uh, we uh, also now discussing how to change the database. Now we are using CouchDB, but so we are now surveying what is the most uh, benefits uh, database for our service. So and, uh, until last year, so building the SW360 is very uh, complex and uh, you cannot easily install it, but so, uh, recently, uh, one of the great contributors uh, set the Docker Compose installation. So you can, if you set the Docker Compose, you can uh, build the SW360 
uh, with a three or four command. It's a very useful. And so uh, uh, after this presentation, if you want to try uh, SW360 by yourself, yeah, you can follow this one. Maybe you can try it within today. Yeah, so now other topics is that we are also talked about the new front end size. So it's a proof of concept, but so uh, we may uh, change our uh, new front end. Uh, and, so, and so recently, uh, as a contributor, do the presentation. And so uh, maybe we will release version 17 soon. So I uh, explained and talked about the SW360 overview and some useful functions and website or roadmap. And from now, my colleague Tiensa explained uh, new functions about SW360. Okay. Thank you, Hamasa. Okay. And, uh, the next section, I uh, would like to uh, interview with you about uh, uh, three uh, big, uh, big feature uh, which uh, we implemented in uh, this year. The first one is uh, managing uh, vulnerability information. Uh, you can uh, see the more detail in the uh, uh, GitHub issue and our pull request. We make the pull request from the uh, Toshiba repository with uh, vulnerability info management brain. Uh, actually, um, uh, in the AW360, user can uh, uh, manage the vulnerability information by uh, using the API. Uh, and Toshiba developed a new uh, function to support user can uh, uh, register, modify, and uh, delete the uh, vulnerability by uh, using the uh, web interface. Uh, these are uh, um, the sc uh, screenshot to uh, add a new vulnerability. You can uh, enter the uh, some information for the new vulnerability, then uh, click the uh, create vulnerability button. After that, uh, you can uh, also uh, edit it and by using the uh, edit icon. And you uh, can also the delete uh, a vulnerability. The next function, uh, import, export, add PDF document from the uh, issue on uh, GitHub. Uh, we implement a, a new function to make a new uh, tab on the release page for show the SPDX and SPDX line information. Mm, there are some uh, function in uh, this feature. The first one, uh, we can import the SPOM file from uh, uh, component level. You can uh, go to the component in the top menu and click the import uh, add form button. You can get the uh, an, uh, example file from uh, uh, Java uh, repository um, because uh, we use it library for AW360. You can see here uh, when we import the add bomb file, uh, new component and uh, new release can uh, uh, create in uh, this system. After you uh, import the add bomb file, you can uh, view and uh, edit the SPDX document. Uh, so we uh, provide a new function to store the SPDX document uh, information when uh, uh, user import the SPOM file and uh, uh, to view the information of uh, 
early. For example, uh, ZLIPC, uh, user can go to the NPDI document tab on the release page. In this tab, uh, user can view full uh, NPDI information and uh, can view a short uh, version. And uh, here is a video for demo session. You go, go to the ZLIPC component and uh, release. Then uh, you can go to the uh, NPDI document. Then uh, see uh, uh, many information about NPDI in here. And the uh, NPDI line, as you can see the some uh, short version. You uh, can also uh, uh, edit the information of uh, NPDI by uh, uh, edit the release. We also uh, provide a new function to uh, allow users to export the NPDI document information to uh, multiple format like uh, TAR file, uh, RDF, and this song, uh, Excel format file, so on. So last on, we uh, implement a uh, new dependency network between a project and uh, software. Uh, uh, now, uh, Toshiba is developing a uh, new function to uh, make the dependency management of a uh, project more flexible. And uh, we uh, will uh, release a uh, function soon. In uh, current version of AW360, user can only add the direct release to project and uh, own sensitive release depend on the release the relationship at the component level. So if two project link to same direct release, they also have the same sensitive release. Mm, this is a uh, how easy when uh, practice the uh, AW360. Uh, we find that uh, when two project Project A link to component X version 1 and project B link to component X version 1. Uh, the version of uh, its dependency may be different. For example, uh, in the case of uh, NPM, if develop uh, set the version of uh, a dependency M more than uh, 1 by 0 by 1, so the version may be uh, 1 by 0 by 2 for common A version and uh, 2 by 0 by 1 for common A version 2. And uh, uh, current situation of uh, AW360, uh, only the information of the direct dependency of our Z can be registered in AW360, as you can see here. And uh, this guy cannot be registered in the current W360. So Toshiba proposal and develop a new function to make the dependency management of a project more flexible. Function uh, allow a project to set up its own dependency network. This is an uh, example. We have uh, two projects. Uh, project example two is uh, old, and project example one is new. Uh, they link to minimus version 3.0.4. But with the uh, old project, uh, the um, relationship uh, of minimus with uh, pre expansion version uh, 1 by 1 by 7. And new project we link to project expansion 1 by 1 by 11 version. Uh, 
and current situation uh, user only add the direct release to project 1 and project 2 and cannot change the version of sensitive release so I'll post proposal a new GUI and new function to uh, manage the dependency network for each project so uh, each project can be set the uh, dependency network dynamically so this is now just step to uh, set up the dependency network uh, you can go to the project and uh, edit it in the um, uh, edit page uh, you can uh, see the linked release and project tab and add the release you can uh, search a uh, release in uh, the search form for example we can search zfc and add to the project for the new function you, uh, user can change the release version and add the sub release user can also load the sensitive release from the component level and uh, change the version of uh, the release dynamically then after the update the project information about the direct release and uh, sensitive release will be reflected in the related function there are some related function like uh, license clearing tab clearing request uh, ecc import export function and uh, so on and uh, in addition an uh, important boy the api function will also be changed and here is a, a demonstration is a um, edit the project a and go to the add uh, really here in this page user can load the uh, dependency from component level and change the version dynamically uh, add the sub relief for the lipc select the version and add to project okay you can see uh, three uh, really can add to project a and related function also reflect the information so i would like to uh, conclude the, uh, this session about the uh, managing vulnerability information function uh, our pull request is ready to be must then you can use uh, this function uh, about the import export fpdx document uh, feature uh, currently we uh, already support fpdx uh, 2.2 and 2.3 version and now we uh, continue to uh, implement uh, an, a new uh, function to support the cyclone dx format and the last one the um, new dependency network between uh, project and software uh, currently uh, we are implementing uh, this function and maybe we uh, it can uh, in, uh, can be included in the uh, next release of uh, AW360 uh, maybe the 18 version thank you for our presentation so that's all and so we hold the weekly telco everyone can join this one if you want to discuss about the sw360 please join there yeah thank you for listening and if you have a question please ask us <laughs>
Uh, sorry, I, we don't support at this moment, but so yeah, nice idea. I plan to <laughs> develop super Kubernetes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> So, can you introduce more information about that? Uh, maybe could you ask again with your microphone? <laughs> yes, so SWC16 is a very good tool to manage all kinds of information. Mm -hmm. But I wonder how we generate this information from the software. So that's the, that's the, the process before we register into SWC16. So can you share more information about that? Okay. Thank you for the question. Um, we uh, um, uh, generate the um, uh, add bomb file, the uh, add PDH uh, document from uh, another tool. For example, uh, you can uh, use the Fosology to generate the uh, add PDH file, then import to the SW360 to manage the uh, component and release. Thank you very much. Okay, please. Sorry. Uh, can I ask? Uh, I'm not familiar with the uh, SW SW360. So uh, can I ask a very basic question? I understand that. SW360 is uh, stored somehow uh, metadata like uh, SPDX and uh, uh, information about uh, S bombs only. So, a uh, similar question, but uh, are there any uh, knowledge to integrate some source code composition analysis software and so on? Are there any APIs between the two softwares? for uh, of the SW360. Mm. Maybe uh, you can uh, write some uh, script to uh, using the uh, red API from SW360 to execute the component and project and release to SW360. Uh, then manage them on our system. Uh, on AW36 uh, system. Then uh, we also provide the uh, export function. Then you can uh, you can also uh, export the APDX or some report from AW36 to uh, 360. Thank you very much. Okay. And, uh, sorry, one, one more question. Yes. Now you said that uh, you uh, SW360 supports the SPDX version 2.2 and 2.3. Yes. And which field uh, can handle and support the SW360? There are many uh, attributes in the SPDX. All attributes are supported or not? Actually, uh, the uh, new release for SPDX uh, version from uh, 2.2 to, um, to 2.3 has some change. And uh, currently, we uh, uh, can check the difference from uh, between the uh, SPDX 2.2 uh, and 2.3 and implement the function to support post uh, version in AW360 uh, system. Okay, thank you very much.
so thank you uh, for attending the uh, our presentation today thank you very much